Coming up on this week's Dirt Shed show, we've got news from Crankworks Rotorua, racing news, plus we're asking how do you transport your bike? I've gone and got myself some robot legs and we're going to be looking in the bike vault. We've got some great comments from you guys, pin the trail, hacks and bodges and all the usual great stuff. Let's get to it. Cue music. This is serious. Serious. Steve P legend of mountain biking in his final year of racing wow. hasn't, hasn't got enough points to bloody well enter no he's been chasing points obviously steve was out with injury last year so you don't get any uci points and you need a certain amount to actually enter the world cups so he's been trying to get points and so far he's not got any and he's oh. run out of time a little bit I tell you what it's incredible to think that the guy with 16 world cup wins his name is it 16 i think oh, it's so it might be, more. Might be 17 or yeah. 18 he's won so many we yeah. don't even know that's think, how good he is but to think that he's got that many world cup wins and he can't get his uci points that's that's uh, showing how fast times are these days. I was going to say, it shows you how tough downhill it is these days. Um, and hopefully we'll see Steve at the first race. Who knows? Oh my God, it's jeopardy. Eric Marquez sent us this really cool picture of his 1995 GT outpost on the back of his bike rack. Pretty retro bike there. But he's actually breaking that rule. Your bike's supposed to be worth more than your car, Eric. <laughs> so is your bike worth more than your car. Uh, if I put a couple of them in, yeah, probably. <laughs> ah, sweet. Just checking. Um, so that got us really thinking, what is the most extravagant way that you travel with your bike? Do you have a monster truck? Even a hearse? What do you have? I think a hearse would be perfect. Mm. Out the box thinking, look at this photo from Chris Van Dyne transporting his bike. It's on Instagram. Um, he's on a Ducati and he's got two mountain bikes on the back. So it just goes to show you really can be quite creative when it comes to transporting your bike. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and he's saving uh, fossil fuels there. So he's saving the planet. Great, like yeah, it. Like it. So let's see how you transport your bike. And the best ones will be featured on the show next week. Yeah, exactly that. So the racing season is clicking into gear. Yeah, Portugal Cup round one took place at the weekend and actually some big hitters there. Edgar Caballo Gonzalez took the win in front of Sandale and Josh Bryceland. Yeah, and Pete was there as well. He actually finished ninth, which is why he's not got those 30 UCI points. To get those points, he needs to actually have to finish first. Josh Bryson actually put us on Instagram from the race and hashtag it, get Eddie to Lords. So obviously he hasn't got a ride for the first World Cup. So I've not heard of Edgar, but I'd love to see him at that first World Cup. Ratty wants to see him there. Ratty, Ratty wants to see him there. Rat boy. Crankworks Rotary has kicked off with the giant Toa Enduro. And we've actually seen a downhiller win that. So we've seen Enduroists racing downhill. And Matt Walker won the Enduro. Eddie Masters came second and Josh Carlson came third. In the women's, Annika Burton took the win on GT. And I'm actually seeing Vanessa Quinn in fourth, former world downhill champion. Cool to see her back racing. Also over in Rotorua, they had the Spank Whip-Off contest. Whip Proud favourite, and I've got the results here. First place for the men was Ryan R. Dog Howard, Tyler McCall in second, and Sam Blankensop in third. He's got mm. a good whip on him. And in the women's, Casey Brown first, Emily awesome. Siegenthaler second, and then Karen Pastenor in third place. So Sam Blankensop, he's racing the EWS, he's racing downhill. He's also coming third in Whip-Off. Yeah, yeah and he was fourth awesome. of that enduro as well. Yeah, yeah. Jack you can of be, all trades. You can be too good, Sam. You can be too good. It annoys people. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey? What are you doing? Have you not seen the comments this week? <laughs> well, obviously not. I mean... Wow, this one oh, comes from Jay Bay, and he says, Someone zip tie his hands to the table. Put what? it through. We've actually talked about this a little bit before on the channel. It's actually really hard to talk to camera without using your hands, but... Well, it's not impossible, well, guys, Neil. It's well, not impossible. We're going to prove that. So this, this is... I think I feel this is a bit of a health and safety hazard, to be honest. Well, JT Ariazi says, Mark's calves, look, they've got two... <laughs> JT Ariazi says, Mark's calves look like they have two turkeys hanging off the back of them. Yeah. So I don't true. know what that means. What that mental picture is not working for me. He's got quite big calves, Mark. Oh, okay. It means he's got big calves. So it's a compliment. But calves are baby cows. And muscle. Oh, this is very confusing for a vegan, isn't it? It's 
distressing. <laughs> Tom Castellani says, look at two, th two minutes 37 on Neil's How to Jump Brilliant. Doubles video. Brilliant, this. You can see Neil's toy replica of his actual bike. Mm. Cute. That Classic. actually, it's like some sort of, uh, yeah, how's that We work? need a toy bike in the shed. Yes. I need a toy bike. Can someone send us a toy bike, please? Toy bike manufacturers, uh, just, we'll give you our details. You know, what are our details? Uh, well, email us. How would they send us it? Email us. Oh, we need, no, you can't email a toy bike. Time for the caption contest, and it's going back to that cool illustration we got last week from We Are Beard of the Dirt Shed blowing up. What we got, Scott? Yeah, we had some great ones. My one comes from Ben Cycling Shooter, and it says, when Neil finally shouts, it's, it's the, the Dirt Shed Show! Show! Boom, that's why I don't do it. I just don't want to blow this place up. <laughs> I've got a good one here, it's from Zesty. When the Insta bangers are just too great. I think that's a good one. Very good. <laughs> Shay and his bike says, looks like Neil dropped his mixtape again. <laughs> Who's the winner, Neil? I think Zesty is the winner this week, so send us your details on a message and we'll make sure we get a t-shirt in the post. This week's photo for the caption competition is Tracy Mosley, Timo, doing a wheelie in a car park. It's a wicked picture. Awesome, you never grow out of doing wheelies. And uh, check out the channel because we've got a couple of videos coming up soon with Tracy Mosley. Tech of the week this week comes from Cy Richardson in Taipei. And he's been checking out Crank Brothers' new dropper seat post. Let's have a look. Run BT. So this, it turns out, is an exclusive look at the new Crank Brothers dropper post called the High Line. Now, they've told me that when they were developing this, they put durability at the absolute top of their list. And so they've come up with some really nice touches. So first of all, They've changed the mechanism for activation from a standard kind of push-pull valve to a rotary mechanism there. So that improves durability. And then inside, the cartridge is completely sealed, so it can't get contaminated. And then also, should it ever need replacing, it's a simple job to do so. The other thing that I really like about this is the lever. They've obviously spent quite a bit of care and attention over the finishing touches on it. And basically, the design is such that you can actually mount it in virtually any position on the handlebars. So left, right, up, down. There's a little ball joint there that gives you loads of micro adjustable positions. So these are going to be shipping at the end of April. Initially, just a 125mm travel option, although 100mm and 150mm will follow soon after. And of course, it's available in 309 and 316mm diameters. That's my favourite kind of tech. <laughs> when you don't have to do it. The sort of tech when someone else does it for you. Thank Wait. you, Cy Richardson. Who's Cy? Hey? Ah! Shoutouts. 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 So this week we've had some really great videos have popped up. What you guys got? Kelly McGarry versus the oh, Volcano. Oh, that Love was a this. Good one. Um, comes off the back of that photo epic tribute on Pink Bike, which is amazing. Got a bit emotional looking at that. But this video is Kelly McGarry shredding down a volcano and another really great tribute to a guy who's loved by loads of people and obviously an amazing rider. Tell you yeah, what, it was pretty impressive good. seeing him in the helicopter, wasn't it? Yeah, the helicopter cool. shots in it, well, they were, they were seriously good. Brilliant video. Great vid. There's not going to be a better shout out than that this week, but I'm going to just put this one out there. Uh, it's Matt Jones killing it video. Sam Pilgrim Productions. What? His fellow Dirt Jump superstar. I'm a big fan of Matt Jones's riding. He's got the smoothest flair yeah. in, the, in the whole world. I He's love awesome. it. Yeah. He's a great rider and it's a great video, so take a look. Well, I'm going to throw it to a really good enduro video that I saw. Florian Nikolai riding some of his home trails. And the, the guy's just got so much style. He's yeah. actually my sort of pick, I would say, for the underdog of the EWS in 2016. We saw him getting some podiums last year, but he's not really got that personality. And I think that video just showed how mm. effortlessly he rides yeah. a bike. EWS pick for the top, eh? I think so. You heard it here first. Oh, I'm going for mm. Richie Rude if that's a pick. Instabangers! Yeah! Who you got, Neil? Uh, I'm going to throw to Casey Browntown this week. She just won the Whip Off Worlds at Crankworks and she's got some cool dog pictures and ski Neil's pictures. Neil's talking about girls. Neil's looking at girls. Casey Brown's pretty rad. I'm telling Leanne. Are I'm, you? I'm going to tell her first. I just text her and said. <laughs> Who have you got this week, Mark? Uh, I'm going to link to Daryl Brown. Daryl Brown's Instagram. Um, he is an absolutely amazing dirt jump rider, uh, can boost it off a ramp so high, he's so brave, he'll go big. So his, his Instagram's full of his action, so check that out. <laughs> Exciting news, the bike vault is open. Come on, get, get that door Let's going. Let's have a look. Ooh, Geo Jimena. Nice. Oh, is that what is that? Marin? Marin. 
That's nice. And that I really appreciate the setting. Cool. This one. Rory, Carey, Norco. Nice. No. Paul Newton's got two bikes. Super nice for that. Harry Rogers. Nice. Giant Rain, is that? Yeah. Giant Rain? Nice. Uh, very enduro. Got his uh, inner tube strapped to the top tube. Oh, Neil, what's that? That is super nice. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I tell you what's really great about this photo from Andrew Woodall. Is his bikes in a kitchen. And that's, you know, kitchens don't get bikes enough. That's where a bike should be when you're not on it, near you. It should nice be near you, house. in your house. That is nice. Justin, Justin Earl. Earl. Where's that? I like the look of that place where he's riding. Yeah, I very appreciate dry. I appreciate the fact he's gone on a very... Do you know what? I think the, uh, the photographic side of Bike Bolt has stepped up this week, hasn't it? Yeah. People are trying. Nice. Scott to love it. Scott, Scott Genius, I reckon that is. Looks very nice. Super, Super nice. nice. Super nice. Oh, and the bike vault's closed. It's never enough. It's never enough. Love it. next week. Yeah. Keep your bike vault photos coming in to dirtshed at gmbn.com. But there's another way. You can actually leave them on our Facebook page or send us a message. Yeah, send them in. We love seeing them. Keep them coming. Got some really cool hacks and bodges this week. This is another wood-related one. Max said his friend's retainer screws fell out on the rear disc brake caliper. And they put a stick in there to hold it in. Uh, that work? Not recommended holding brake pads in, but yeah, another great use for a stick, I suppose. Definitely but it's a bodge. Definitely, it, a definitely bodge, yeah. In a hack, though, we've got this great tubeless inflator. Now, you may have seen we've already featured it on the show, the, oh, what's it called? Airshot. Airshot, the airshot we've already featured on the show a couple of times. But this one, it's actually used an old fire extinguisher bottle, cost them five pounds, bit of Calmback hose pipe. And it's a great way to inflate your tubeless tyres. We're not recommending this one either, I don't think. Oh, it is a great idea, but... Yeah. Uh, it looks dangerous It does me. look dangerous. It looks dangerous to me. Beef jerky, nice idea. It's, a, it's in Hack and Bodge, but it's not highly recommended. It looks explosive. Health and safety. Pin the trail, Wally. Pin the trail. The first one comes from Jamie Hamilton in North Canterbury, the South Island in New Zealand. Let's check it out. The trail is called Blow Hard it causes you to well, blow hard apparently. I tell what's cool already is he's got a great GoPro mount for his yes. camera and it's looking pretty rad. It's spinning around his helmet. Yeah. Cool, isn't it? It is nice. Looks like they're having a nice day. So oh. Okay, this one's from Tim Clark and he's riding the Lone Cactus Loop uh, in Tucson, Arizona and done it look exactly like Tucson, Arizona. I'm waiting for a Cowboy and Indian and run across the track. Mind that cactus. Oh, that is a big one. Oh, it looks really cool, doesn't yeah, it? Nice. Yeah. This was actually on Super Bowl Sunday as well. Tim rode it on his brand new Santa Cruz Bronson that he also sent to the bike vault. Thanks for all your great submissions this week. We really enjoy watching your videos, so, so keep sending them in to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Or hashtag gmbn pin the trail. Coming up on the channel this week, tomorrow, we've got another one of our Mission Control series, and this one is about improving your vision. And also a bonus video of how to do a recovery ride. And on Sunday, as ever, it's our Switchback series. And on Monday, we've got Mechanical Monday, and this is how to stop your cockpit creaking. And on Tuesday, we've got a top five way to save money, saving you guys some dosh. On Wednesday, it's not about how, but where to wheelie. And we've got a bonus video, what is XC? And then on Thursday, we've got a great interview with Tracy Mosley. And on Friday, what is it? Oh, well, I'll tell you what it is. Ah, it's Neil's, Neil's holiday. holiday. We're back in the shed. You're back in the yeah, shed. I'm out of here, so. Oh, we'll have a good time. boys. We'll have a good time in the I shed. Think that's a premature departure. But anyway, yeah. on Friday, it is. The Dirt Shed Show! Yeah, Neil. Dirt and Neil's, shed break, show. Neil's breaking the Dirt Shed just before he leaves. Uh, actually, he can't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm still here. Just, should we have a contest? Sounds good. Bring should it. We, should we have a Neil versus Scott contest? Yes. Yes. That's good. What is it? It's a drift off. It's a drift off. Mm. Hashtag battle. <laughs> Hashtag Neil can drift. Hashtag Scott can drift. Right, Hashtag get to it. Get to it. So leave your hashtags on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and leave them in the comment section down below. Hashtag Neil can drift. Hashtag Scott can Sounds drift. Good. Who's the winner? We'll announce it next week. And that's another brilliant edition of the Dirt Shed Show. If you want to check out more videos, you can click up there for our how to whip video so you can enter the whip off world. What else? Oh, well, and you can click down there. Yeah. For the how to playlist. For the how to playlist. And why not? Um, if you probably, before you click those two, if you click somewhere around me, I think, 
then there. you should get Part to uh, the subscribe button and you get a great video every day of the week and it's totally free. Leave comments, it. thumbs up. We love it.